On May 5th, a group of four History 141 students visited the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. This museum opened in 2004 with a goal to pursue inclusive freedom by promoting social justice for all, building on the principles of the Underground Railroad. There were three floors total in the museum, and the museum had a lot of cool and interesting exhibits like artwork, there were first-hand and second-hand stories with statistics. And there were also props, like chains or tools used. And there were also building replicas, like Uncle Tom's Cabin. So, a lot of the artwork had things from more current events, like a painting of George Floyd, um, in a painting of Breonna Taylor. But they also had artwork from um, representing like the older times of when slavery was um, more prominent. Um, my favorite part of the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center was definitely the film The Brothers of the Borderland because you got to sit in like the movie theater and it had stars in the sky and it had the breeze blowing so it felt like you were actually like helping runaway slaves which was really cool and then it was also my favorite because it was like a first person point of view. I enjoyed all the exhibits but some of my favorites were the Art in the Age of Mass Incarceration exhibit. I just thought it was really cool to see all the drawings done by one prisoner and they were just all so detailed and so good. And there was also like room at the end for more. So it was like a growing exhibit. I also really enjoyed the Slavery Today exhibit. because I think it showed that although slavery was abolished, there's still like invisible, invisible slavery going on throughout the world today. And I also really enjoyed the Brothers of the Borderland film that we saw. I just thought the film was really interesting and it showed the struggles and hardships that they had to go through. And the theater that, was in, that it was in was also really cool. And my favorite thing from the museum was probably the two quilts that we saw. It was near the end and the quilts each had different stitchings that told different stories and one of them showed more traditional stories like the Middle Passage, um, the actual Underground Railroad, and then the other quilt showed more cultural aspects. They were kind of various because the second quilt showed things like religion, um, different streets, um, different foods, and I honestly felt really connected to the quilt because my grandmother taught me how to sew, so I have kind of a larger appreciation for the artwork and I know how long it must have taken for that person to actually create that. I think that my favorite part of the museum was kind of just like the art aspect of it. I mean reading everything was so cool but there I feel like there's just something so touching about um, just how you can analyze what someone's thinking through their art so like on the two quilts you can just kind of see how this woman views like white people and how she views the, the slavery in general just by the way she sews the pants on the eye these are the colors she used and um, I really also enjoyed like there was an exhibit that was kind of more focused on social justice and stuff like that that had the um, mural of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd um, and it also had just some really abstract pieces of art um, about COVID and about just like the Black Lives Matter protests and stuff like that and I really just thought that was amazing.
Um, I also really, really enjoyed the exhibit um, about modern day slavery because it kind of just brought a new realization about how lucky I am to be protected every single day. Um, I know anything could happen at any time, but it just kind of brought a new awareness and I am going to be more safe now that I went there and I see what other people my age have went through. I would definitely recommend going to the National Railroad or the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center just because we learned a lot of things that we hadn't learned about in school. It just like takes it to a whole like another level, which is really nice. And I would 100% recommend this museum to future students because my group and I got to learn more about the history of the Underground Railroad and how they were interpreted by survivors through lots of captivating artwork. I really enjoyed visiting this museum and I highly recommend it. I feel like everybody should go here at least once in their lives. And I just think it went more in depth of like what we learned in school and it provided details that we couldn't have covered in school. So I just thought it was really cool. I would one million percent recommend this museum to um, future students and really anyone. I've already told my family that we all need to go. But I just really just felt like it helped put the things that I've learned in class into real life. Like the statues and all the artwork really just helped me learn about it in a different way which I thought was very interesting. Um, it was really modern, it was really interactive, so I really think that it's entertaining for everyone. It's not just you go there and read about stuff, you actually get to do things. So yeah, I thought it was an amazing opportunity and experience.